Obviously, players have asked me throughout the day, and, and I just can't express that. The one thing to keep in mind with this season is we had a lot of people opt in to this season. Okay. We had a lot of people opt in. All right. Coaches, players. That includes family members as well. All right. So to look at a group of grown men who I asked to give me effort on a day in, day out basis and to empty the tank, and then I can look them in the eye and assure them that I'm always going to do everything I can to put them at a competitive advantage and play them in a position of strength. To me, you don't ever want to disrespect those players and their effort and disrespect the game. The sacrifices that they made to come into work every day and test before coming in, to sit in meetings spaced out, to wear masks, to have shields over those masks, to go through extensive protocols, to travel in unconventional ways, to get text messages at 6.30 in the morning telling them practice is going to be canceled, we have to do a virtual day, okay, to tell them please don't have your family over for Thanksgiving, please avoid Christmas gatherings, we know it's your wife's birthday, let's make sure we put that one off to the off season. There's a number of sacrifices that have been made by all the players and coaches in this league. There's a number of sacrifices that come along as well with the family members and the people connected to them. To disrespect the effort that everyone put forward to make this season a success for the National Football League, to disrespect the game by going out there and not competing for 60 minutes and doing everything you can to help those players win, we will never do that as long as I'm the head coach of the New York Giants. <laughs> yeah, I always I try to wonder, you know, the Doug Peterson is uh <laughs> his uh decision to bench Jalen Hurts during the fourth quarter, and it's not like the gentleman was playing that bad. I mean, he did complete like twenty five percent of his passes, but I mean, rushed for a touchdown. I mean, they would only down by three points, but I mean, if you look at it in the fact that you know the coaching perspective, maybe he wanted <laughs> Sudfield to get some more reps, but. I, just, I hear Shannon Sharp, I hear what he's saying, and Skip Bayless, they was like, okay, this, if you, you already knew that Suffield, it's, it's at, not even average, he's below average quarterback, okay, you drafted him, you know, I think it was like late in the round or whatever, and 12th round pick or something like that, whatever, I don't know, and he's playing so far, you know, he's not playing really good at all, and the fact that this gentleman, you know, he, he's been there for four years. <laughs> he hasn't really do too much on the roster. So, I mean, maybe this was just, hey, you know, I just, I don't know if it's a personal, I don't think it's a personal hatred with Jalen Hurts, man. I mean, because, I mean, Doug Peterson, his scheme is maybe a little different. I mean, they won the Super Bowl with uh, Nick Foles, you know, back on quarterback. They had no choice after, you know, um, Carson Wentz was injured, okay. Uh, they went 97 his first year, and then the year after that, they went 13 and 3. Yeah, like I said, won the Super Bowl. They play outstanding, man. But I mean, it's it is a little bit questionable, man. I mean, I don't think you know the the Eagles owner should fire him or whatever, man. I mean, but I think most importantly that you don't want to kill the confidence of, of Jalen Hurts because I, I look at this too. A uh, Carson Wentz, yeah, he's sometimes he has some bad games. But I look at this too, man. Like you, you have to, you know, give him some talent around. Like who is he gonna throw it to? And Carson Wentz is unhappy in Philly. He's been benched for Jalen Hurts. I mean, you drafted the quarterback. I was just like, wow, why not get any more wide receivers? Why don't he get, you know, some more, you know, running backs for this team, man? Offensive line. I don't understand. Like, come on, beef this up. Like Carson Wentz was your main guy. I felt like, but then he feeling disrespected. Like, dang, man. Like I put all my all in here on this team. I just had like one maybe a bad game for one season. And you bench me, and then you do the same thing to Jalen Hurts. So it, it raised a question for me, like as a <laughs> someone that loves the NFL. But then again, you got to look at it too. Does he? Do we dislike Joe Judge? You know who's the? Does he hate the the New York Giants and want the Giants to go to the playoffs? You ready to see Washington do it? We don't. We don't know. And I can see why people say some of this stuff is rigged. They said um, <laughs> reports two defensive players had to be held back from approaching Peterson. The report does not name those players, but notes that. Two other players, including center Jason Kels and other, another starter, went to the coach to ask him why he pulled the starting quarterback with the Eagles, trailing by only three. And I, I heard, too, he had some family there, too. Jalen Hurts did. I mean, this would have been, like I said, week 17. He's competing, you know, the role to the pretty much the starting job, quarterback job, to control this offense uh, from um, Carson Wentz. And he didn't really pretty much get that opportunity to play for all 60 minutes. I, I just didn't. It's just weird to me. I never, you know, I just never understood that, you know, but hey, it, it is what it is, man. I mean, 
I'm not gonna say he's a bad coach. Like you say, you won the Super Bowl first Super Bowl and for the Philadelphia man fit in many years. So, but this 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 was kind of bizarre. It's like a turnover fest. I mean, you knew that Nate Sudfield didn't really have the ability to march down the field. And it's like fifty some seconds left, low snaps. I mean, haven't played a snap in in a while. Haven't really got that many reps in practice. <sighs> it's uh, it's uh, it's eye opening though. But I, I'm really curious what they're going to do in the off season. They knew they did if they want to move on with. Jalen Hurts and I think Carson Wentz. You know, he's talking to his agent, whatever. You know, he wants to get out. I don't think Carson Wentz really have a future with Philly anymore. But uh, if you want to move forward with Jalen Hurts, man, I mean, you know, because their their psyche is very sensitive, man. Especially as a rookie quarterback, is he your main guy or not? Or are you just hey, you just looking at them as players and you just doing what you want to do? That's what it seems to feel like. You're disrespecting the game. But I mean, I respect Peterson. Like, say, wrote a book called Fearless. <laughs> You know, um, but <clears throat> it's it's hard. It's hard to really. Uh, I was kind of odd. I mean, I was watching the game because I'm not a I'm not a huge fan. I was just curious. Like, dang, is the are we gonna see Danny Dimes in the in a uh, in the playoffs? You know, <laughs> or you know, are we gonna see the Washington football team? Like, we'll see. You know, that was a really highly anticipated game. I mean, regardless if like a, a team that you dislike, if you win, they're gonna go to the um playoffs. Like, you can't control that. It's just control your game. Always play. Don't play for picks, man. You feel me? Like I just feel like that really destroys the the brand of the team, man. You know, like you get up in the morning, like I say, you gotta do your job. You want to go out there and perform and show everybody what you've been doing. That's all I gotta say, man. But it, it, I was kind of disappointed about that. I was like, dang, why didn't they keep the Jalen Hurts in the game? <laughs> like, why he on the sideline? Is he hurt? Is he injured? You know, it is what it is, man. But you guys, when you like, comment, subscribe. I just want to make that video. I'm out. Deuces.